What is going on friends, we are here with BTB versus Trosgo, as Trosgo already disconnected. Um, that gives us more time to talk about team preview uh, while the Smogtooth chat is hyping up my man BTB here. Um, so looking at BTB's team, I uh, assume it's a Magma Trim with Off Power, Taunt and Rocks, uh, most likely a Scarf Landris. He has a Mew that is most likely Fast Mew with Ice Beam, uh, Softball, Defog and will but it's going to be able to check Zygarde and Outspeed Lando. And that got to be land on Zygarde, so that way he can afford to run a Scarf Lando, he doesn't need a defensive Lando. The Pax is going to be split, they have Toxic Spikes. Uh, both players have a, sp uh, have a Toxic Spikes to absorb T-Spikes. Um, so the, the T-Spikes are not going to be putting in too much work. But yeah, Tita is most likely going to be banded. Um, Trosco does not have the best answers for Banta. If it comes out on Spidev Pax, it can put in offensive pressure. It also does like 70-ish to Clefable. Um, like it does a lot to everything, especially if the if the scam is not max defense, like you cannot really switch well onto Bantai at all. And Alakazam also is a huge threat. Um, Focus Blast blows this away or HP fire depending on the Alakazam set. Like if this takes prior damage, it might be in range from HP fire. Um, Pex gets blown away by Psychic. If scam is not Spedef, which I haven't seen Spedef scam since RS, it gets blown away as well by Focus Blast slash HP fire. Fable runs Fist Dive as well as so if Psychic destroys it. So like his only way to beat this Alakazam is I guess a sc potential Scar of Guard Chomp. Um, or his own Alakazam and Runa's Speed Tie and Shadow Ball. I don't know. Yeah, he's super weak to this Alakazam. Um, both Alakazams are big threats because BTB also doesn't have the best checks. Like Tita dies to Focus Blast, this dies to Focus Blast after some prior after prior damage. So like both players don't have good checks. Um, yeah. But yeah, Trosco's team is a bit weird. I cannot 100% tell if he's Scarf Jump or not. Um, because he doesn't really have like a mon that really looks like a mon like the Z Move user other than Guard Jump. It looks like Guard Jump is gonna be the Z Move user. But if that's the case, uh, his team is super weak to Volcarona, which uh, seems weird to me. Like his team is just super slow and stuff. Like it, it looks so weird. Then he has the double steel types. Um, if that is not a solvus zone, if it's like Specs zone or something, or Scarf. This would mean that the that the Pax has to be like max death because yeah, otherwise he's super weak to like gear. He's also weak as fuck to specs Coco, like good god, look at this. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it until he comes back. Uh, or until they like start the game because this is taking forever. Okay, Trolls goes PC crash and he's restarting it right now. Okay, let me pause real quick until they start. Ketrosgo is back. Um, yeah, and let me talk a bit more about his team. I assume that the Clefable is some sort of command, either command knockoff or command rocks. And I'm thinking that the Skarmory could be a uh, Spikes, and then this the Clef or the Garchomp the Rocker, and then he has Robot on Skarmory. Um, this can definitely put in some work um, if he gets up health and Robots around. But I think overall this uh, matchup is a bit in BTB's favor. But yeah, they're gonna start soon, few. This took forever. Uh, I paused it for like five minutes. <laughs> so I assume Trosgo uh, hmm. is gonna leave a clef here. Let's see. So we see a Tita versus clef lead. Um, BTB can just go for Bandit Stone Edge. It does around 70%. Like I said, Trosgo has no good play. Like Moonblast doesn't do that much to Tita because Tita gets the speed death boost from the sand. I think Moonblast is like 40-ish, maybe a bit more, that's just a head calc. Man, Stone Edge does like a lot. Bop. It does connect, so Trosco just gets up his rocks. And now Trosco has to let Tom... Let's do... Has to... Good God, why can I not talk? Now he has to let something else take a huge Stone Edge. Um, like, if his scum is not max defense, he has to go into either Guard Chomp or Zone. Um, but he probably has to go into Zone here, because Heatran is a really big threat to him. And Guard Chomp is one of his uh, only checks to Heatran. Other... If Alakazam Magus, it can also check um, Heatran because it can trace Flash Fire. He dodges the edge that sucks for him in BTB. Um, but yeah, he, he didn't want to go to Chomp there because, like I said, he wants to keep that healthy for Heatran. Heatran is a big, big problem for Trosco. Um, Trosco is now tempted to Volt Switch here because, like I, I just said, it, Heatran is a big threat to him. And if he Flash Cannons into Heatran, he's going to have to switch into a Magma Storm. It's going to be super bad for him. Uh, so he's going to be tempted to Volt Switch. And most likely, would also. Like, I would not want to let the Heatran come in for free if I was Trosco. And I would probably Volt Switch as well. Um, BTB can potentially take advantage of that and either go to Landris or stay in on a Volt Switch, as Tita's gonna like not take that much from a Volt Switch. 
Um, TD can also live flash can, but uh, if if torso stays in flash cans and BTB stays in, it would be bad for BTB. Um, but it's pretty unlikely. I think it's just gonna vault switch here. So if um, BTB stone edges again, it would be a fire play, and if it works, um, or it could go Lando as well, predicting vault switch. The thing is, if he goes Lando, he would be forced to U-turn out because the Skarmory is in the back. So Torosco could break that and Volt Switch again. So I think if you, if you predict him to um to Volt Switch, you just stay in here. You get your huge Stone Edge hit off. He's either gonna let let the Skarm or the Garchomp um like either Skarm or Garchomp are gonna have to take a huge Stone Edge if he volts out here and if BTB stays in. And yeah, I don't know. Like it looks like. Both Alakazams can win this game. BTB's Alakazam, BTB's Heatran can win this game for BTB. Um, so I, I cannot really say who wins this game, but I think it's a bit in BTB's favor. Um, so he stayed and breaking the Volt Switch and just edged again. He does hit this time. Gachum takes a fuck ton from that. That probably was a high roll that did so much. Um, I don't know if it was a high roll, but it seems like a high roll to me. Um, so now BTB is going to go into his most likely Scarf Lando here. Um, Trosco might predict that and go for Z Outrage. Um, if he has that, but we, we don't know the Garchomp set yet, obviously, it could also be Scarf. But it just feels like this has to be the move looking at the team, there's like no other mod that makes sense with the move to me. Um, because BDB is just gonna go Garchomp here because Garchomp could threaten this out with Scarf HPI. The off -click might also kill from this range, I'm not 100% sure. Um, the thing is, BTB doesn't want to lock himself into HPIs with his Lando because Trosco's Clef is pretty low and if he HPIs is that lets Trosco's Clefable heal. Um, but yeah, Scarf, Trump is, uh, Scarf Lando is like another thing that can 3-blade the game um, for BTB. So let's see what he did. He just SD'd up. So I'm pretty sure he's like Z-Outrage. Um, now he's in range from HPI. So I don't know if it's from, uh, from Earthquake, like I said. But BTB is going to be tempted to Earthquake here because he doesn't want to let the Clefable heal. Uh, Trosco is going to be forced to switch into Skarmory here. Um, Skarmory covers Earthquake and HPI. So Skarmory is a fine play for Trosco here. I don't think he's gonna sack his chomp. Uh, like I said, it's one of his few um, guard, uh, heat trend answers. And it already got weakened, so it's not the best answer. I can only switch in one more time on a Magma Storm. Uh, yeah, heat trend is just super nice in this matchup. It can also. Like, Trosco's team is not that weak to Toxic Spikes, but heat trend can also trap the Toxic Packs, the Magma Storm, and Elf Power. Um, and then if uh, Trosco's uh, Mega it also gets affected by T Spikes. But other than that, on, only the chump gets affected. So he goes on a Skarmory here. Uh, BTB just Earthquakes. Completely agree with Earthquaking because you don't want to let the Clefable heal. Um, so Trosco, if I'm Trosco here, yeah, I would go for a Whirlwind. Uh, predicting either the Heatran or the Mew to come out. Because he could just go Mew and Defog. The thing is, if he goes Mew, so he spikes. Uh, I kind of understand that play in the sense that he wants to he wants him to Defog. Because if he goes to Mew and Defogs, that gives Trosco his Clef and then he can heal his Clefable up. Um, yeah, so if Trosco ever gets like somehow rid of the packs, I assume the packs has haste and BTB set, um, then his Calm and Clefable can also potentially win this game. But yeah, BTB can just go for Magma Storm here. Uh, Garchomp can switch him one more time, but it's gonna be super low now. It's in range from another Magma Storm, so it cannot switch in. And BTB's Lando is really obvious here, so let's see if Trosco predicts that and goes for the Art Rage. Like, I assume his best move to hit land is the Outrage. Um, he might also um, Earthquake predicting BTB to stay in. But the, it's it's tough to say because if I'm BTB here, what would I say? Like, if you go land on the Outrage, it's kind of bad for you because Scarf Lando can win this game, so you might not want to make that play. Um, Pax, is, Pax is not going to be the sack because he needs Pax um, for Clefable, so he can haste that and to absorb opposing Toxic Spikes. Um, Mew's gonna be nice to defog the hazards away. Everything is super nice. Alakazam kind of just wins. Scarf Landon can win late game. Tita can put a lot, of, can do a lot of damage every time it comes in on like, um, on like a turn where it's Clefable goes for soft build or when it comes in on like a PEX, uh, on the PEX, yeah. Like, so, I don't know what I would sack here if I was BTB, but Tren is really good, so I probably wouldn't sack Tren. Um, he does sack Tren, okay. I, I don't know what I would have sacked. Maybe Tita. But definitely not Tren. So now he goes in the guard jump. Um He can either HPI or U turn here. Um, he, like I said, he probably doesn't want to HPI since the since the devil let the clef heal. So he just U turns. Uh, he goes on Alakazam, and Alakazam kind of just gets kills left and right. Um, let's see if the, if the Magnezone is assault vest, then yes, it can take Psychic into Focus Blast or Psychic into HP Fire. But 
it's not going to be able to Oko the Zam back. Um, yeah, spikes are up. Um, it's also um, Magic Guard was also really nice there. That is definitely not Assault Vest. So there's either Specs or Scarf. I assume it's Scarf since the Garchomp was not Scarf. Uh, but Scarf Zone is one of those mods that's like super slow. Like it's a Scarfer, but you don't you don't even outspeed certain mods. Like it's not really a good. It's not a fast Scarfer. Um, I I gotta give some. I gotta give him that. Like Scarf Zone sometimes has a surprise factor and can definitely put him work in some scenarios. But I don't know. On this team, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, we, yeah, it was pretty much confirmed that he scarfed because the damage that the vote switched to Tita, I don't think there was specs damage. I think it did like 20%. But yeah, you can just go for, if he has HP fire, I think that kills. Um, yeah, Focus Blast would have killed as well, but he doesn't have to risk it because he has HP fire. Um, Trosco now pretty much has to go into his own Alakazam because, oh, he goes to Skarmory. Like, he doesn't have a counter. Skarmory just gets blown away by HP fire um, because Skarmory doesn't run Spidef. The last Spidef Skarm that I have seen was an RS. Um... Yeah, so he just just takes 61. What is he gonna do, Brave Bird? Oh, um, not sure why he has Brave Bird. The only way, I, like HP Fire is just gonna pick this off now. Um, he's not weak to Heracross, so uh, the only reason why he has Brave Bird is probably for Tapu Bulu because the SD Tapu Bulu looks like a problem for him. Um, so yeah, BTB can just click. If Psychic kills, he can just click Psychic. But if it's a roll, he's just gonna click HP Fire. Um, but yeah, Trosco doesn't have a good way to revenge this. It's Chomp is in range. Pex would get bobbed, um, so he just goes on his own Zam and he's hoping to win the speed tie. Um, I think BTB wants to keep the Zam around and trace regenerator later from the opposing Toxic Pex. Um, so I assume he's gonna go into his either Tyranitar or um, hmm. Yeah, I think he's gonna go to Tyranitar here, uh, anticipating a Shadow Ball, and then he's gonna get some Sandstorm chip on uh, Trosco's Alakazam. Like he can try his region like I said later with the Zam and then he can pretty much get rid of the kinda get rid of the rocks and spike damage that kinda counteract it a bit. So he goes on a T Tar. Uh, so now Shadow Ball is gonna come out. And Trusco is gonna have to hit a focus blast to kill this. And let's see if he can hit it. Like I think BTB is just gonna stay and there's no point in like going hard lander here risking it because Garth Lander can win late game. Or like pretty much it can pretty much win right now. Um, so Trosco has to sack something here, and then he has to go back into Alakazam to get the Intimidate off on the on BTB's Lando. Hmm. I can see him sacking his Garchomp. Um, not sure. But yeah, BTB is just gonna click off quickly. It's completely free. There's no reason to click anything else. Uh, Garchomp should kill uh, the Zam. So he goes to Pax, um, but he can I don't think he can afford to sack this. Um, this I guess he doesn't need the Pax for too much. Yeah, like, Pax is kind of annoying for BTE, but it's like not a big threat. Like he can deal with it with Zam, and I don't know if Zam is healthy enough to switch into Scald. It has its up. I think he has to bring it in like after he sacks something or on double switch. I don't think he wants to switch into this. Okay, so he goes back into Zam to trace the Intimidate, which means he can live an Earthquake, but it still does a lot. And okay, I understand. I understand what Trosco did there. So he's now gonna sack either Alakazam or Pex. Um, probably he's gonna sack Alakazam because he already switched his Pex out to Good Region. Um, but this Intimidate that he, this Intimidate that he got off means that. Clefable. Okay, sex is Garchomp. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, okay, that makes more sense. He wants to keep Alakazam because Alakazam pretty much um, destroys BTB's team besides Scarf Lando. Um, but yeah, this Intimidate means that Clefable can now live off quick, is what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, yeah, I messed up a little bit there. He obviously wants to keep Alakazam. Good god, that was an interesting series of plays. At first, it looked really weird, but it kind of makes sense. Because now he can softball up. And if BTB for some reason does not have haze on his Toxapex, uh, he can he can just auto lose right here to this Clefable, um, but I'm pretty sure he has haze. Haze should be standard on Pex. Uh, so he's gonna defog here, and Trosco can calm mind up if he has it. But yeah, this is really nice for BTP. He gets rid of the hazards. Um, he's in a driver's seat. Pretty sure he has this game, so he's gonna have to go to Pex here. Um, unless this is some random star power clef, which is prob which is which is not which it's not because we know it's um, soft rocks. 
uh, Moonblast, uh, Calm Mind. Like, Star Power is only if you don't run rocks. Like, Moonblast is pretty standard on Cleft. Usually, it's like a secondary attack move that can be different. Um, and Aras, you've also seen Bolt Beam Clef. But yeah, um, he does reveal the haze as Trost goes to his own packs to get some regen. Um, I assume Trost is going to go back to Clefable here. Be <clears throat> I mean, Pax versus Pax is just really annoying. I hope they switch out. So he goes on the Alakazam. Okay, okay, Alakazam is a... I think it will... Yeah, yeah, since he got rid of the hazards, yeah. Since he got rid of the hazards, he would have been able to live with Scald. And he did trace Regenerator. This is what, exactly what BTB wanted. Uh, now he can switch back into his Toxapex here. Uh, he, he already traced Regenerator. Yeah, this is exactly what he wanted, like I said. Um, yeah, he kind of had to Moonblast there because if Alakazam goes for Psychic and he doesn't go for Moonblast, he's in a really bad position. So I think BTB is just going to like click random buttons like Scald, Toxic Spike. And if Clef comments up, then he's going to haze after. Um, like Even if this pack Clef comments up a few times, Moonblast doesn't do, any, like, doesn't do much damage to um, packs at all. So this is completely fine. Um, like Moonblast, even at plus six, it does like, oh, but yeah, like it does nothing. Even at plus six, I guess at plus six it starts doing damage, like forty-ish. But at plus two, which it is, which it is at at the moment, it's not a threat at all. So eventually, you should haze though, just just to play it safe because haze has more PP than Calm Mind, and Scalding just doesn't do anything because the leftovers just cancel out the Scald damage. So we do see Moonblast at plus three does no damage, twenty-four percent. And yeah, this is just the big thing that Hayes has. It has a lot of PP. I'm surprised that he still didn't haze. I mean, I also, also, I do understand why he keeps spamming Scald. Um, because if Trosco goes into Alakazam expecting the haze, and he goes for haze, and he gets into Alakazam and traces Regenerator, that's a problem for BTB. So I actually kind of agree with spamming Scald um, so that Trosco gets scared off and doesn't want to go hard Alakazam. I think what Trosco is trying to do is um, he's trying to make. I would scald again here because I think what he's trying to do is uh, make you recover to get a free switch into his Alakazam and then trace regenerator. So like just spamming scald is actually really smart. At first I didn't realize it, but yeah, it's really smart because I think the Alakazam on Trosco side is super low. I think it was in scald range. He actually went for a recover there. Okay, I thought he would scald again because um, he didn't try to catch the Zam. So he hazes now and. <clears throat> Yeah, but PTB pretty much has this game. Like, I don't see how he can lose. Because his Scarf Lando... Um, if this Clef takes some prior damage, his Scarf Lando cleans up with Earthquake. His Zem also kind of gets a kill uh, when it comes in on, like, the, the packs. Oh, BTB has Toxic on his packs. I'm actually a big fan of that set. Um, when me and BTB used to talk a lot a few months ago, um, we both used the set. A lot of people use Toxic Spikes, but we both use Toxic, um, toxic Over Toxic Spikes. Um, it was like it was early Sun and Moon when we were not sure what uh, how the meta is gonna be, and I was still back in the day. I was fearing Zardex, and I was uh, preferring Toxic over Toxic Spikes to kind of handle Zardex better. We are like, using like a fatter team. Um, yeah, so now he goes to Mew. He's gonna defog here. Like Trosco can call mine up, but it doesn't really help him. Um, so BTB is gonna go back to Pex here. Like, he's kind of just a bit pee, -pee stall here, but BTB has this game if he doesn't choke really hard. Um, yeah, which is going to be pretty nice. My man BTB, um, so now he goes into the Zam there. And BTB catches him in Ice Beams, wow. So he predicted him to go into Toxic Bags and went into Zam. BTB catches him there. Like, you guys can see earlier, he scored a few times trying to catch the Zam. Now he Ice Beam and catches it. Uh, Ice Beam was completely, was completely a fine play. Like, I also thought he would go back to Toxic Bags, but he didn't lose anything from Ice Beaming, even if a Clef commented again. Uh, you guys saw um, Moonblast, even after a co few comments, it did nothing to Toxic Bags. So BTB had nothing to worry about. And in case Trosco tried to go Zam, the Ice Beam catches the Zam. So yeah, pretty much got rid of that. And yeah, the game just pretty much is pretty much over at this point because Alakazam must be Trosco is like only um, offensive threat to BTB. Yeah, BTB is 1-0 at the moment. He goes back to Zem. Even the Scald burns yet it's fine. Um So he's just gonna click uh is he gonna click Psychic here? Yeah, he's not gonna. I was about to say. Because if you click Psychic here, 
uh, Toxapex is gonna be able to live it. Your Zem might die, it's probably a roll. And if your Zem dies, you can potentially lose the game. So yeah, just switching out and getting regenerator was the smarter play. I was just thinking for a second if he can just click Psychic and win. Um, but yeah, this is completely fine for BTB. His Mew getting burnt means the Pex also gets burned. Like, BTB is just playing it... Um, like, he's not rushing it. He's he's playing it correct. He's doing exactly what he has to do. Because Psychic with Zen would have been a potential choke. Um, like, I was just thinking about it. Because if the Clef took some prior damage, then Psychic King... Um, would have pretty much guaranteed you the game, but if the clef was still too healthy, it didn't. Okay, so he's knock off on Scarf Lando. It's real to the left, he's on the clef, it's really nice. So now he's gonna switch back into his Mew uh, slash Toxapex. Um, but yeah, Prosco has no more offensive threats, he just has a Pax and a clef. And pretty much BTB has Mormons, and BTB still has offensive presence, so this game is over. Um, BTB could PB store Trosco, but he can also. Uh, win faster with his offensive threats. He just has to play it like um, smart and not throw them like that. Just not throw the game away. Like if you just play it smart, BTB has the game. But yeah, um, I missed BTB's game versus Isle of League. Um, BTB would have lost that match. He had a really bad matchup, but he lacked uh, Isle of League unfortunately. I think it was Volcarona. It was setting up, and Volcarona would have just won. And then he got like a Thunder Para, I think, with a Clefable. He was using some interesting rain team. It was funny because it was using BTB was using a Trosco team. Uh, versus his opponent, I love League, and now he's facing Trusco. So that was kind of interesting to me. But yeah, these turns, um, I don't think they need. I don't think I have to narrate every specific, every single turn because it's pretty obvious what is happening here. BTB just has this game. Um, Trusco still fighting for his team, but yeah, he's not gonna be able to pull out the victory here. My man, BTB is gonna be two and zero, and later he's also playing Bro Kappa. You guys can also expect that game. Um, maybe a day after this goes up, I'm not sure. I've already like narrated a lot of games today. So like, hmm, let's see, I don't know how many more to say. This might be the last upload of the day, this might be um, the first upload of the next day. But yeah, Hayes has more PP than Callmine, and this is completely fine. You can even go to Mew here and Defog and then go back to Pax, or just stay in with Pax, it doesn't matter. So he does go to Mew. Uh, so he rocks again, so he wasted another rock PP, um, not that it really matters. So you can either Defog or Softballed. He commands up again, um, so now you can either roost um, uh, and then, yeah, yeah, I think he's gonna go back to his toxic packs. Like Devox again, but Devox has less PP and rocks. I think I know. I think Trothko wasted some rocks PP on the on the packs earlier, but I think he still has more rocks PP than Devox PP. But yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Like BTB has this game. Um, if rocks are not, it doesn't play a role at this point. Like, I get why he's clicking, I get why he's clicking rocks because he doesn't want to waste all his Moonblast PP and etc. But, like, it doesn't matter what P Petrosco does. Unless BDB, like, unless BDB's internet dies or, like, he misplays. Like, he would have to misplay so hard. He would let, he would have to let the Clefable set up to plus six and never click Haze. And then just misclick every turn. Like, if he just, if he, like, let's say BDB would, let's say BDB would go to Toxapex and always just click Scald or Recover and not click Haze. That would be, like, his only way of winning, Trosco's way of winning to let the pack. If he lets the cleft go to plus six, but that would be a huge misplay. BTB would never do that. So now he can just click psychic. Um, his Alexander was out of range from Scald, so Trosco would have had to get a crit there. Um, I think he was also in range from. Was he in range from psychic? But yeah, BTB pretty much wins here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, I think the Pax might have been able to live a hit, but then afterwards, since the Clef had some prior damage taken, and the Clefel was knocked off, the Lander would have just spammed off quick and the game would have been over anyway. And he still had a Mew and the Pax to PP stole Trosco, so yeah, BTB had this game guaranteed. Thank you guys for watching, have a fantastic day, stay tuned for more content, smash that thumbs up button, and peace out friends.